My name is Derek Robertson. I'm a National Advisor for Emerging Technologies and Learning with Education Scotland. And for the past number of years, I've been passionate about leading games-based learning and games design uh, activity within Scottish schools. One of the ideas that I had a few years back uh, that gave me real traction with schools and with, with teachers, particularly in relation to English language and literacy, was this idea of the narrative, the developing depth of narrative that was coming through in computer games. Previously, there were really kind of superficial narratives with a goodie and a baddie, with themes of fear and flight. But they've become even richer as time's going on. You're seeing that a game isn't just about winning, getting the highest score or, or completing it or defeating the baddie, but it's finding out what happened in the story. And in some respects, changing the story and making it your own. So one of the things I did, which people might be interested in, in doing, is that looking at games such as Hotel Dusk that was out for the Nintendo DS or the the open window, there, there are more and more games coming out, Professor Layton games, that have a real narrative thread to them. And what we are doing is that, and some of the ideas that I had was that children could then look at the idea of the genre of noir, looking at something like Hotel Dusk, which is a noir type computer game. But in doing that, they can also go back to iTunes, to the, the freely available downloads from the 1930s and 40s, such as The Shadow or Mr. Moto or the... Bulldog, what's his name, Bulldog Drummond from the, from the UK. There's tons of them that are freely available that families used to sit around the radio instead of, they didn't have televisions in those days, and they would listen to the stories. And they're beautifully dramatised. 30 minutes long at the most. And so what we did was we got children to listen to those, they watched noir films, they engaged with noir literature, they played the noir game for the Nintendo DS, and the idea was that they would create their own noir st style story. Now in terms of transmedia, what that can mean is that you can use all manner of tools to be able to bring a digital element to it. But we did it via podcast because for me, just writing for the ear is a lot different from writing for the eye. And I think there's something maybe a bit more focused about it. And so children could then, or young learners could dra draft and script and record and dramatise and bring in music their own noir style story. But imagine syndicating that and you split it into a six episode example. And in one week you release it. And you can imagine the audience, the purpose, and feedback for learners. Second week comes out, you might even leave it open for people to vote on how they think the story should go. There's so much you can do. And for me, learners work well or engage when there's a need. And if your learners have got an audience out there in Canada, Bolivia, Dundee, wherever, and they're listening to your podcast and they're giving you feedback, I think that is a really powerful element that you can link to transmedia and link, link to the world of games. I've tried it and it works an absolute treat and I think that it's something we can further develop.